Hey, what's up, YouTube? And um, I'm gonna introduce myself real quick because my subscribers know me, but for all the other people, I go by the name of Real J. And basically, this is my first real blog. And I'm just gonna go on a little rant about hip hop news and stuff like that, whatnot. And um, this this is my first real blog, and um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep keep on doing these, but if you like me doing blogs, then just give me feedback and everything. You know what I'm saying? And without further ado, let's start talking about stuff. And as y'all already know, unless y'all been living under a rock or in a cave or your grandmother's basement, y'all already know about the issues going on between Eminem and Mariah Carey. And basically, if you've been living under a rock or in a cave or in grandmother's basement, I'm just gonna fill you in real quick. Basically, Eminem came with a song called Bagpipes from Baghdad, which was in his Relapse album. And basically, it talked about how he wanted Mariah Carey back, but obviously, and obviously, as if you if you're a real Eminem fan, you will know he's messing around because you know Eminem likes to joke around a lot. He jokes around a lot in the songs. He makes fun of a lot of people. That's just the way he is. That's why he came up with a song called "The Way I Am." Anyway, like I said earlier, Eminem made a song called "Bagpipes from Baghdad," and. Nick Cannon got really pissed off about it and personally I believe that he blew completely out of proportion cause like he wrote an entire essay about Eminem saying how he was this and that, he sucks, he shouldn't diss my wife, blah blah blah, you're lame, I'm gonna whoop your ass, that type of shit and like I mean Eminem just messing around that's just like the way he is, he likes to make fun of a lot of people, you shouldn't really take it that seriously, I mean come on he's been in the industry for like 10 years already that's what he does a lot he makes fun of a lot of people and the canon like I understand that you have to defend your wife and everything defend her honor but I mean come on you ain't gonna do shit to Eminem and then Mariah Carey responds with a song called Obsession and basically um, I'm sure a lot of people already know about this already but um, she talks about how Eminem's success over her. Well, he, she doesn't say his name actually in the actual song, but you can tell us about Eminem because in the music video, there's a guy that looks pretty similar to Eminem. And actually, it's where I carry just up as a man, ironically. And the lyrics, you can tell just by reading the lyrics that it has something to do with him because she's saying that they never had a relationship and why is he obsessed over her? At least that's what the lyrics say. Then Eminem's like, man, that's some bullshit. Then Mariah Carey's like, no, 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 it wasn't about Eminem, it wasn't about Eminem. Then Eminem's like, man, fuck that, I'm giving you a warning. And basically, the warning is talking about how Eminem's gonna release all these pictures of Mariah Carey if she does not stop talking shit about him. And damn, this really one big mess. Eminem versus Mariah Carey. Superstar against superstar. Shit. Now here's what I think about it all like, first of all, um, Eminem is one of my favorite rappers. He was the man that introduced me to hip hop, like, I started listening to the Encore CD and even though a lot of people said it was a bad CD, I personally thought it wasn't that bad, like, I like the, the songs like Toy Soldiers, I like um, Mosh, I like Yellow Brick Road, I like um, Mockingbird, I like the bonus tracks on the CD, it was a pretty dope CD. Um, even though its other CDs were better, but it was pretty good, and I like Mariah Carey as an artist too. She's a really great singer. She got some of the highest vocals. She can sing from low to high, and plus she's a gorgeous person. But um, in the context of this beef, I would just say, Mariah Carey, what the fuck were you thinking? Of all the people you would make mad, of all the people, why would you make Eminem mad? Like, first of all, if you two had a relationship, why would you deny it? Like, even though he was a bad boyfriend or whatnot, why would you, like, deny y'all went out? Because, I mean, even if he was a bad boyfriend, just the fact that you two were going out would be great publicity for you since Eminem is one of the most well-known artists in the world. Like, even though you're already well-known enough, it doesn't mean that um, it could hurt you. And damn. Why would you make fun of Eminem on a song like you did? Like, shit. Eminem's entire career is based upon beefing and battling. 
okay, well, not his entire career, but that's how he became famous. He was a battle rapper before he was famous. Because of his battling, he got um he caught the eyes of Dr. Dre, and that's how he got signed. I mean, Eminem's um foundation were based upon battling, and he's beef with a lot of people. And I would just say, he's ended a lot of careers like what Benzino, Ja Rule, Everlast, ICP, Cannabis. Well, Cannabis is a dope rapper, so a lot of people still listen to him, but. Damn, and Royce the Five Nine. Well, I haven't actually heard the beef songs between them, but I heard they were beefing. But the point is, he's beef with a lot of people. That's what Eminem does best. And you pick the beef with him. You're not even a a rapper. You shouldn't be picking beef with people like that. Shit. Like I understand that you're like probably mad that Eminem said some of those stuff about you, but I mean. You should have just ignored it because of all the people you're going to beef with you don't want to beef with Eminem you just don't I mean look at the ratings on YouTube your obsession videos ratings went down ever since Eminem posted this song but then again Eminem isn't completely right either I thought he went a little too far with that song he made but it was a dope song though I enjoyed listening to it and really um if you're a true Eminem fan, you would know that his true potential is reached when he's having controversy with other people. Like, that's how he reaches his true lyrical potential. He'll start shit with like, he started shit with a lot of people actually. Like, he started shit with like the government, George Bush. He talked about his mother. He talked about other rappers. He's talked about he talked about a lot of shit. He's a very controversial rapper. Controversial. Is that how you pronounce it? Eminem feeds off controversy and aggression. When people like are aggressive towards him, he feeds off it, and that's when his lyrical potential goes higher and higher. That's just a type of rapper Eminem is. Like that's why the old Eminem, who's had a lot of controversy in his life, that's why he was like a lyrical monster. That's when he was still hungry, hungry to like get to the top. But after like the Eminem show album, that's when um, a lot of people consider Eminem to be falling off because his other albums after. The Eminem show just didn't have that that hunger that it was just wasn't as dope as his previous CD. So, yeah. and that's about it. That's all I want to talk about in this blog. So, leave me some feedback. If you like my blog, then I'll keep on making blogs. If not, then screw it. But anyway, um, just in case y'all didn't know, I'm a rapper myself. Um, they, as I said earlier, I go by the name Real J and. Let me show you some of my material, my, my material real quick. Yeah, I'm a tear to artery tissue to get to the heart of the issue. Rack got retardedly whack. But see what far it can get you, even with the artist is crap. You know the stardom will hit you. It used to be harder than that. The rap I started to miss you. So now I'm carving my mat. Try to find a marker to spit to. But my rhetorical rap is like a foreign ritual. No comprehension. They question the message that I've been etching into. This fucking paper, I'm giving them the impression it's true. Girl be freaky, freaky, freaky all of the time Nothing less than sex in the mind What can you do with the girl on your body Erotically touching the do in the grind An erection in your lower section No protection in every session By the parts make connections And one way take it to make her pregnant And you wonder why you had to sex them Every single girl of their adolescence I hope you all enjoy my music too Cause that's what I primarily do here on YouTube I'm trying to get some subscribers and publicity here like, I've only done, like, a couple actual performances outside on my computer. Like, I perform for my school a lot. Like, I once, uh, the biggest performance I've had was probably in front of about 200 people. But, anyway, that's about it. So, comment, subscribe, send me money. Do a lot of stuff. Just show me love. Alright, peace.